Hello! Um, most of you would be aware that during the week I posted on Facebook that I believe health and nutrition information should be accessible for everyone and one way that I can make that possible is to invite you to ask me a question and for me to answer it. Um, now I've received quite a few questions, some of which I've been able to answer on Facebook, uh, just in written form, but this particular question came to me and I thought it would be good to video and explain uh, what it's about. Now this question is good, it's the, what is the best way to get an adequate amount of vitamin D during winter? Now vitamin D is an essential vitamin that we need for overall health. It is particularly important for our bone health. But it's also, um, it, it, it's extremely important for our immune system. So it helps us to fight colds and flus and viruses and also good for chronic and autoimmune diseases. So uh, low levels of vitamin D are known to um, increase fatigue and illness. So all in all, we want to increase our vitamin D. Now, the problem is during winter, we uh, are exposed to less sunlight and vitamin D, the best source of vitamin D is through sunlight. Sunlight is it, when we're exposed to sunlight on our skin, our skin converts that uh, sunlight into vitamin D3. It's amazing, isn't it? So what we're wanting to, to achieve as much as we can during winter is exposing our skin to sunlight. Now, whether we are indoors, more or whether the days are shorter and we're finding it more difficult to be in the sunlight or whether when we are outside we are rugged from top to toe because of the cold we need to find ways to expose ourselves to that sunlight and one of the best tips i can offer is that when you are outdoors whether that's commuting to and from work or whether you can take a short break uh, if you're working inside on a lunch break, uh, or any opportunity when you are outdoors, remove your sunglasses. Many of us still wear sunglasses during winter because of course it's bright uh, on most days and we, we think we need to. But that's one area of the body that absorbs the most light, our eyeballs. And so our eyeballs can actually receive the sunlight and absorb it and convert it to vitamin D three, two. So <laughs> remove your sunglasses, don't look directly at the sun, that's going to cause more damage than good. But even if you're just exposed to sunlight as you're looking around or looking down at the ground, you will be absorbing vitamin D3. Also the skin around our eyes is particularly fine, particularly thin, and so it's, uh, it's going to absorb sunlight and therefore convert to vitamin D2. So there are just a couple of tips, of course, try and get outdoors as much as possible in winter. Um, certainly being physically active is, is, is important throughout the year, but being exposed to direct sunlight uh, for anywhere from say 10 or 15 minutes uh, a day is really beneficial. Um, even longer for darker skinned um, and certainly very important for young and old. It's also important for me to stress that vitamin D cannot be absorbed when you're wearing sunscreen. So when you are outside for just a short amount of time, avoid wearing sunscreen so that you absorb that vitamin D. Okay, I hope that helps. See you next time. Bye.